Hello, welcome to LEB Toys. It's definitely time to do some crafts because it's always craft time. It's always time to craft. So today we are opening up the dots, Lego dots. This is a desk organizer and it's got 405 pieces, most of them are teeny tiny and it's around about $30 mark depending upon where you live in the world. So let's open this up, which is kind of, I'm struggling to open this up. Let's get our yellow bento box open and you'll have to forgive me if my voice gives out in this because I haven't been very well this week, but that's all right. It works enough. It's just enough. Okay. So in the middle, we've got the stuff that we actually build the box with and they'll just remind me what these pieces of paper for. This one's for the instructions, obviously. And these ones, can't remember what this one's, is this one just advertising? I think this one's just advertising. So all the other dots, goodness that you can get. And this one's that thing for that place that you probably can't go because it's probably not open. Thanks so much, coronavirus. Now, on the sides here are the bits that we use to actually create our own specialized design, whatever you want, on the on the actual stationary caddy thing. I've already forgotten what it's called. So we've got some quarter pie pieces here. We got white dots and some coral squares. This one's got pink squares and orange squares. We got orange quarter pie. In fact, we got a whole heap of quarter pie pieces here. So we got pink, orange, coral, and white quarter pie pieces. So these are our decorating materials. But first up, we got to build the actual caddy. So this set comes with a brick remover. And this is very important because the earlier ones didn't. And if you're actually going to be changing your design around, a brick remover is really, really important. So I'm really pleased that they're included in the set now. So let's get our nice big pink base plate out and build our thing. What was it called again? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna die. But no, I'm not. I'm fine, everybody. I'm totally fine. Actually, I had a coronavirus test this week because I had a dry cough and all of those things. And uh, and it's fine, it's negative, which is great, which is very brilliant. But it's not the funnest of tests, but it has to be done. If you have the symptoms, you gotta go out, you gotta get checked. It's the responsible thing to do and we all need to work at staying safe, looking after each other. Now, the colors on this, are just weird. I wouldn't be putting these pink and orange and blue together under normal circumstances. I mean, where are they even on the color wheel? Are they complementary colors? I just don't know about that. So I'll be interested to see how this actually looks once we get it all together and decorated. <laughs> Hopefully it won't look like a cry for help <laughs> or a really big eye breaking black color thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, words. why you be so hard? All right, but I can still build. Building's perfectly fine. I can build when I'm sick too, which is brilliant. Okay, so this part here is obviously we're making a little box and I can see a spot where we're going to have something where we can slide this into it. It's got a drawer and this is obviously gonna be the drawer. So we need these panel pieces to go on the side so that things don't fall out the top and into the back. And look at that, a perfect little drawer space. Actually, there is room in the back there. There's some dead space. I don't like that. I like to fill up all the available space, but there's probably a design reason for that. So I will leave it alone at the moment. Okay, next layer, we have got a plate layer on and that big pink square thing, the big pink plate. I think that's a new piece. Pretty sure that's a new piece. And now we're building up. Curious to see how tall we can make this. Oh, these blue panel pieces are new too. <gasps> that's exciting. Lots of this, the dots theme itself brings lots of new colors to pieces, which is absolutely brilliant. Okay, curved pink piece on the back. This photo piece, which we had in the animal little animal photo holders, was I think mint color. So this pink one's new too. So we've got photo holder <laughs> photo holders in two different colors. I'm not certain how useful that is, but I'm sure it can be in some universe. I'm sure we can think of something unique to do with it, like use it for holding photos on a holder. That's what it's designed for. Now, we've got these blue plates here, which are lining around the side of our desk caddy and pretty sure they're new as well. But at the moment, we've got this hidden drawer piece, which is really, really cool, but we're supposed to put a handle on it. But I really like the concept of having a hidden drawer. So I might remove the handle at the end so nobody knows that there's actually a drawer in here. That's so cool. Okay, but that handle weight and that handle piece is actually very clever as well. But we'll put it on for now. Now we've got our actual whole thing created. Now we get to decorate it. And this is where you get to go to town and decide what you wanna put on here with the colors provided. Or if you hate these colors, dig into your stash and see what else you've got and see what you can create. So we've got a whole heap of quarter pie pieces. We got squares, we've got just little white dots. And with just these simple shapes, we can create lots and lots of colorful shapes. 
So, let me see. I don't know how creative I can be on this. I'm going to actually, I'm going to start on the draw and because this is where you have to pay attention to make sure you actually create around the handle. So I'm going to have to leave spaces for the handle. So there are actually some design suggestions on the other side to the building instructions. And this time around, I'm actually going to use these design suggestions because I really like them. And some of them are in different ways to what I've, I've used these shapes for in the past. And I wouldn't normally, I just don't like building with orange. It's one of my least favorite colors, but that there's orange is prominent in this particular build and the decorating pieces. So I need to use them and I need to love them. So let's see whether we can put them in and make them lovable. Love the orange, embrace the orange. So we've got orange on the side. In the middle, we need to leave space to put this handle. So we're going to use the coral pieces to once again, just mirror the, the pattern on the side, but using it just with coral in the middle which is just another form of orange, but it's a prettier form of orange. It's like a ready pink. And on this side, we're going to put the orange pieces on just like on the other side, this side and the other side. And this is going to be our draw panel. <laughs> so directionally challenged. There we go. I've got them all on. Isn't that pretty? They're like little tulips. And I do like the coral and the orange together. And I don't know why. Maybe because the white breaks it up. It's not too hideous. And the blue actually, it actually looks quite nice for the blue. So that's our draw, which was hidden before, but it's not going to be hidden in a moment because I'm going to do a different design on the next panel. If I really wanted it to be hidden, I could take the handle off and I would put the same design the whole way along the front. But because I'm just trying out lots of different patterns here, it's gonna be pretty obvious <laughs> that they're two separate panels, but that's okay. I can always change it later. So this is another one of the designs from the, from, from the recommendations on the back of the instructions. It's really pretty. I just, I would never think of doing this myself, even if I was playing around with them, I don't think. Isn't this a pretty pattern? I, I don't even know what you would call it, like little, I don't know, they're just little teardrop, extended teardrop shapes and they're so pretty and you alternate the colours and it just make, just turns out really, really gorgeous. And actually, I think the square coral tile is new. I'll have to look that up. I don't remember seeing one of those before. Okay, so now we're alternating the colours. We've created the pattern and it's just looking gorgeous. That's our one half. So now we just got to do the same thing on the other half and we're going to do it super fast because it's <laughs> like watching paint dry making watching somebody do this oh hold on yes no that's good it's good thought I made a mistake but it's all good and one more level down here I love the fact that with this particular pattern you're covering up every exposed stud too it just is oh look at that so slick looking it's pretty it is it's like little flowers okay I don't know that it goes very well with my actual draw face there but it's it's a really pretty 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 pattern now on the side we're gonna do these these drip things because I want to use drip things they kind of look like big long drips from from the top or we could turn them up the other way and they they'll look not like drips <laughs> But we'll do this because this one also looks really cute too. And I want to use some more of these square tiles. Oh gosh, I hate trying to get them straight though. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, that's really good. Okay, and we'll do this one here just at the same level as the orange one. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then some little white drops. And these could look like, kind of like clouds or... Oh, actually, if I tip it up the other way, it'll look a bit like like city buildings. All right, but let's make the other panel. There we go. Off camera, other panel done. And let's put them on because they're identical. And let's put them on either side. <laughs> they're really cute. They really are the, the prettiest patterns. Let's put them up the other way, though. I like them like that because it kind of looks like buildings with stars in the sky or clouds in the sky. We got flowers on the front and buildings on the side. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, our desk caddy, I cannot remember what it's actually called, is done. It's not very deep. So I don't know how useful it's going to be to actually put pencils in. Look at that. But we can store it, store it in, like use it for a sticker storage. Sticker storage. I love that. <laughs> this could put some of my special stickers up here in the top. I could put my roller stickers over here. That's probably a better use for that compartment. And I could use the photo holder to hold a special sheet of stickers that I need to, you know, that I like to display or I want to keep out because I want to use it next. These little fingernail stickers with the animals. All of them are so cute. And in this drawer, in the hidden drawer course, I am going to stash lollies. 
<laughs> Some of my favorite ones, the black cat, the licorice flavored black cats, yum. And if I take their handle off, no one will know they're there. I have to squish them down. <laughs> no, no, don't fit otherwise. Well, that's really quite cute. Let's take the handle off so my lollies are safe. And there we go. We have got the desk organizer all completed and decorated. And I think it looks so cute. The colors the colors do work i'm so surprised <laughs> so color me surprised <laughs> oh my gosh that was a terrible pun ah, okay now is a good time to subscribe if you haven't already done so leave me a comment let me know what you think of the colors and i'll be back with another video very very soon so i will see you then <laughs> bye